Hello everyone. Good evening, good day, good day, good day, whatever time it might be for you. This video is one that I've had planned for a while and I'm quite excited to do it with you guys. One of the things that really got me into creating crochet content was like the 24 hour crochet challenges, the 10 hour, the one hour, you know, whatever could fit into people's schedules. And I am officially taking one on today. It's a very little one. Don't get overexcited. We are going to work our way up to a 24 hour crochet challenge, but we're going to start at literally the bottom with crocheting for one hour and seeing how much I can get done. Now, if you know anything about crochet or if you yourself crochet, you know that things take a lot of time, right? Like a small little stuffed animal could take an hour and I'm like, well, that's kind of boring. Um, so what can I do that's quick, easy, and I can make a whole bunch of them in an hour? Squares. Squares. The answer is squares. You can make a whole bunch of squares in an hour. Um, this is the square we are making together. It is literally a square. It is smaller than the palm of my hand. Now, these squares are actually for a project that I have been working on since June of last year, and I am not ready to reveal what it is yet because I do have a whole video coming out on these freaking squares. Um, but we have a lot of squares we need to make and i thought in order to progress on this project which i have done very little of and to start my 24 hour crochet journey let's see how many of these little squares i can crochet in just an hour when i say i've been working on this project since june i mean i started it in june worked on it for three days and have not picked it up since um so i just retaught myself how to make the squares and i am officially ready with the right size hook to go and visit Square Town for the next hour. Now, this would not be very fun if I didn't give you guys the pattern for this square, um, mostly because I spent forever trying to find a pattern that gave me a square that didn't have holes, like a granny square. So let me show y'all how to make this little square and we will go from there. I'm not gonna run through stitches or anything. Um, Sorry, you will need to look those up on your own, but I can tell you how to make this little square. So you're going to start with a magic circle. I'm doing double ones because the project that this is going to end up being uh, needs to be straight. You are then going to do your slip stitch and then chain two. So you have like three chains in total. And I do one extra one just because I need like the little turning chain. Depending on your crochet style, you may or may not. Then you are going to do a double crochet into the magic ring, another double crochet, a triple crochet, or a treble crochet. I call it a triple crochet. It's a treble crochet. I apologize. Then you're going to do three more double crochets, another treble, three more doubles, another treble, three more doubles, and the final treble. It's going to look something like this. Maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. And then you're just going to pull your magic green tight. I have two little loops that I need to pull. So let me figure out which one is first. I think it's this one. Yeah. Pull that. Then it looks like a square except it's got a little hole in it. So what you do is you put your hook into like the last, the first stitch of the double crochet that you did. Um, or your turning chain. That's what the turning chain is for. And then you just slip stitch it so that it looks like a square. And then I do a final slip stitch and cut my end, except I don't have scissors. Okay, I got some scissors. You cut your end. Boink. Pull it through. And you got yourself a cute little square. But yes, that is how we make these little guys. And I am now ready to go make about 100 more million of these. Let us see how many we can make in an hour.
It's officially been an hour, very short amount of time, didn't even realize. Um, but we got ourselves a good little pile of squares here. I haven't actually counted to see how many this is. I'm thinking it's like 20. So let's go through and see how many squares that I made. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. 24 squares in an hour is... That's 60 minutes. Is that like two and a half minutes per square? Something like that. It's actually not bad. Not bad. Anyways, I know today's video was very short. Very little baby video. But I wanted to, I thought this would be a good place for us to start. Because maybe a couple weeks from now there will be like five hours. I want to crochet in five hours. And then 10 and then 12 and then probably like 16 and then 24. You know, give myself some steps. Um, but it's hard for me to crochet longer than an hour at a time with college and life. So. Yeah, anyways, thank you for making 24 little squares with me. I'm very excited to eventually re reveal this project to you. Give me like mm, a year and we'll eventually make it there. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining me this week. I look forward to seeing you next time. As always, if you have any projects or things you want to see me make, please let me know. I love to know your suggestions. And yeah, with that, I will see you guys next week. Bye!